Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-33 from Arthur Hibbler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the jib crane is supported by a pin at C and rod AB. The rod can withstand a maximum tension of 40 kN. If the load has a mass of 2 MG with its center of mass located at G, we have to determine its maximum allowable distance x and the corresponding horizontal and vertical components of reaction at C. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw a free body diagram. So at point C we have a pin support, so we have a horizontal support reaction and the vertical support reaction. At point B we have a tensile force due to this rod AB. We have a weight of this mass acting through the point G in downward direction. Let's label them. Let's call this Cx and this is Cy. Let's call this Tab and this is the weight of the mass. Let's call this W. Now we have to resolve this Tab force into its components. So if I extend this line backward and let's call this point as C dash which is slightly above then C and let's call this angle as theta. So we have a vertical component of TAB force and the horizontal component of the TAB force. Let's label them as well. So the vertical component is TAB sine theta. And the horizontal component is TAB cos theta. And now for angle theta, we can consider the triangle A, B, and C dash. This triangle A, B, and C dash. So if I draw it separately, then it would look something like this. This is A, this is B, and that C dash. This is the angle theta. So the base of the triangle is 4 meters. And the height of the triangle is 3.2 minus this 0 0.2 meters. So it means 3 meters. So we can use the ratio of 10. So 10 theta is equals to opposite which is 3 divided by the adjacent which is 4. So theta comes out to be 36.87 degrees. If you guys have any question in the angle theta then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. So now we have resolved all of the forces into their components. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of moments at point C equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of Cx and Cy is passing through the point C, so these two forces do not have any momentum with respect to the point C. So Cx and Cy will not produce any moment about point C. The horizontal component of TAB force is trying to rotate the crane in counterclockwise direction about the point C. So the moment produced by TAB cos theta would be taken as positive. So we have TAB cos theta. And the moment arm is this 0 0.2 meter distance. The vertical component of TAB force is also trying to rotate the crane in counterclockwise direction about point C. So the moment produced by TAB sine theta would be taken as positive. The positive TAB sine theta. And the moment arm is this 4 meter distance. The weight of this mass is trying to rotate the crane in clockwise direction 
about the point C. So the moment reduced by the weight of the mass will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is the distance x equals to 0. Since the maximum tensile force the rod can sustain is 40 kN, so we have 40 exponent 3 into cos theta, and theta is 36.87 degrees into 0 0.2 plus. 40 exponent 3 into sine 36.87 degrees into 4 minus the weight of the mass. So, mass is 2 megagrams, so 2 exponent 6, and we have to convert it into the kilograms, so we have to divide it by 1000 which means 1 exponent 3. So, we would get the mass in kilogram and to get the weight, we have to multiply it by 9.81 into the moment arm which is x that we have to determine equals to 0. So, upon further simplification, we have 6400 plus 96000 Minus 19620 x equals to 0. So from here, x comes out to be 5.22 meters. So this is our first answer. Now to find the horizontal component of support reaction at pin C, which means Cx. So, for Cx, we can consider summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So, we have Cx minus Tab cos theta equals to 0. So, Cx is basically Tab cos theta. So, Cx is equals to Tab, which is 40 exponent 3 into cos theta, and theta is 36.87 degrees. So, Cx comes out to be 32,000 newtons. So, this is our second answer. Now, we have to find the vertical support reaction at pin C which is Cy. So, for Cy, we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So, we have Cy plus Tab sin theta minus the weight of this mass equals to 0. So, we have Cy plus Tab which is 40 exponent 3 into sine 36.87 minus the weight. So, weight is again 2 megagrams. We have to convert it into the kilograms into 9.81 equals to 0. So, from here Cy comes out to be negative 4380 newtons. Now, we are getting a negative answer. So, what is the meaning of the negative answer? That the direction we had assumed earlier for Cy is incorrect. In fact, Cy is acting in the downward direction. Cy acting in downward direction. This is our third answer. So, this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, then please make sure to subscribe to this channel 
and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.